Welcome to Electro Online. One of the amazing finds through the orbiters that we have these high resolution cameras on board of the spacecraft are these frozen layers found on the side of cliffs. Now, on this particular scarp, the dimensions of the picture is about 500 meters, a half a kilometer wide. The cliff side is about 128 meters tall, which is about 400 feet tall. And for the first 100 meters, we found that it was permeated by a lot of water ice. Well, it's exposed to the surface, so it's kind of weird that uh, that would exist and that we could find it like that, because after all, there hasn't been any flowing water of any significance for many, many years, millions and billions of years on the surface. Why do we still see things like that? Well, it turns out that if it's shielded from direct sunlight, it could be there for a very long time because the only way that that snow and ice, well, presumably ice, can disappear is through sublimation. That's a very slow process, especially at these very low temperatures and with very little atmosphere, you wouldn't expect a lot of the ice to sublimate into the atmosphere. And presumably it could be replenished by additional water that is further along, that slowly seeps towards the surface that on the scarp. And so you can imagine that you could have a feature like that that could be around for millions of years and continue to be visible from space. Now, that again indicates that this kind of existence of water is probably widespread around the planet, and they estimate that about one-third of the planet's surface probably has subsurface eyes of water of some sort. And then, of course, here we see the evidence of it because it's at a scarp line, so we can see the water permeating from probably far in the region slowly to the surface and then coming out freezing obviously due to the extreme cold temperatures if there's no direct sunlight and because of low pressure if it's very cold to begin with as it emerges it would freeze very quickly and it wouldn't have a chance to run down the slopes so there it is another piece of evidence that lots of water exists on mars presumably mostly subsurface and as you can tell that uh, it's, it's still visible after all these years. It's uh, kind of remarkable that we have these finds of water. No one would have imagined that 30, 40 years ago when we began to explore the planet, that those kind of finds would become more commonplace. But here they are, remarkably, Mars is an interesting planet.